Now, 24 hours ago, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited began lifting petrol from Dangote Refinery. NNPCL said it was lifting petrol at 898 naira per litre, and about 300 trucks would be loaded. But this was swiftly denied by the management of the Dangote Refinery, describing the claim as misleading is the latest in a long line of brewing tensions between both companies, with Dangote urging Nigerians to await a formal announcement on the pricing. Now let's bring in oil and gas expert Maurice Ebay to help us uh, understand exactly what this controversy is all about and exactly what we're dealing with. Thank you so much for joining us Thank you on so News Night. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, Nigerians are anxious uh, about the continuous you know, seeming continued uh, opaqueness around the oil and gas sector or the petroleum sector, if you like. What exactly do we need to understand about this deal between Dangote and NNPCL? Thank you so much for having me again. It's nice to be on the program. Mm. Uh, first and foremost, I think uh, this back and forth mm. It's literally taken away the exuberance, excitement, and the happiness of Nigerians who were looking forward to Dankote refinery coming on stream mm -hmm. and starting to uh, distribute PMS. Uh, NMPC has always been an issue all along. You remember so many times on this program I've right. talked about NMPC should focus more on getting our refineries working. They have like, not been like able to do that. Northern brothers would say, Shikena. <laughs> they have not been able to do that. Yeah. Uh, now, Dan Kote has built one. Who comes first in line? An NPC. A deal, a transaction was done. I think they should have called a joint press conference. Mm -hmm. A joint press conference between Dan Kote Refinery and an NPC. And tell Nigerians that this is the price that we are buying, or this is the price we are selling, mm. this way all this back and forth will be. not be necessary. Mm -hmm. Every time a multi-million naira, a multi-billion naira, a multi-billion dollar transaction is done anywhere in the world, there is always a joint press conference mm -hmm. to announce the details of the transaction. What is so secretive about this? Yeah. NNPC first and foremost shouldn't have gone to market or to the press talking. They should have had a joint press conference to start with Danko with. Refineries. Yeah. And this would have been sorted out once and for all. If, if they weren't ready to tell us the pricing, they could sort that out privately, mm. then come and tell the general public how they came about the pricing. Yeah. If, you, if Dankote sold you in dollars, you tell us they sold you in dollars and at what price. Mm -hmm. And then we can do a black market calculation and figure out what exactly it is in Naira. So, uh, a seller can't tell you how much I'm selling or how much I sold to you, and the buyer is giving you a different a price. Different figure. Something is not right. What do you think could be the underlying factors here? Because it's bad enough that there's this seeming distrust, even for both sides. Nigerians are beginning to question, is there more yes. to all of this that there meets must the be, eye. Th there must be more than meets the eye. Yeah. If this thing was so transparent, if this transaction was done in good faith, was transparent, was meant to alleviate the suffering of Nigerians, mm -hmm. was meant to bring succor to all of us, and we're all excited, looking forward yeah. to a better pricing so we can all fill our gas, go to work, conduct our activities without pain and suffering. Then suddenly, for the past couple of days, all we're hearing is we bought at this, we sold at this. But well, you know, this. initially, the, the impression, at least in the last few days, was that uh, NNPCL was going to sell crude to Dangote in Naira. in Naira. But apparently, that's not the case, at least in this first uh, tranche. We hear that by October 1, no, the Naira it. transaction no, will start. begin. Right. So, uh, between the dollar transaction and the Naira transaction, what exactly do you think could be playing out in a way that would impact the cost at the pump price? Still the fluctuation. Right. Yeah, I mean... Let's take the dollar for, for first. The, 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 there's a lot of fluctuation. The, mm. Every day the dollar Keeps. is going up and down. Mm. So, it's kind of difficult to, to peg it at a particular price. So uh, I was thinking when this deal was negotiated mm. that could have agreed on 
some kind of uh, accommodation that this is either we can go beyond this or we can only go this far. Within a range. Within a range. There, right. there should have been a range because initially they were going to sell to Dankote in dollars. But the president intervened and mm -hmm. said, sell to him in Naira. So during these negotiations, they should have agreed that within the range, this, this particular product cannot be sold beyond this. In spite of the fact that it is, well, supposedly a uh, deregulated It is a deregulated market. market. Uh, yeah. I, what I was going because to come to... Because on the one hand, we hear it will be left to the forces of the Already you, um, And on the other hand, it should be within a band. Already so, we have disrupted the market forces. Already we have disrupted the market first. When you have an NPC now trying to tell Dankote uh, how much and what not to sell, and uh, you sold me at this, you sold me at that, are you not trying to dictate to He's a private entity. Mm -hmm. Dankote is a private refinery. He can sell whatever he wants to sell. You don't have to buy if you don't want to buy. He can sell to anybody at any price. Mm -hmm. So whatever he's producing at, his prices will be based on what he's producing at. So we actually have no business telling Dankote how much you sell is Because product. it's in business to make profit. But exactly. he has said, in spite of the fact that he needs to make profit, he's willing, as a patriotic Nigerian, to even make some losses if it will ensure affordability and availability mm -hmm. for Nigerians. Now, let's look at some factors that could play in, in terms of logistics, transporting uh, fuel from, from Lagos, Lagos, the Lekki Ekwe, Axis. Axis to the rest of the country. We're hearing, at least we've heard, that 75% of local supply will be done by sea, Wari, Port Harcourt, and Calabar. Yes. Right? Yes. This should take away a lot, a lot, a lot of, of the. Do you envisage that with this, we should begin to see, maybe not in the immediate, but in the sh you know, medium to long term, Yes. a reflection on a downward pricing of pump price? You know, it, it should reflect the downward price right. at yeah. some point right. but not that much honestly i i don't see this product i don't see this product coming down below 950 900 at the worst time you may get up to one two one thousand two hundred naira per liter because yeah we're hearing in borno state it, 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 it's about that, uh, uh one thousand and nineteen naira we're also hearing that npcl is actually uh, begging Dangote for any There is kind no of way this product can sell all over the country for less than 1,200 naira per liter if you consider the cost of trucking. Even if you take it to Calabar, you still have to truck it. If you take it to Port Harcourt, you still have to truck it. You take it to Warri, you still have to truck it. So the, the ships or vessels only get to a point. You still have to offload and truck. But when you go to places like Boronu, Zamfara, Kebi, Kano, so the, the, the cost of the product is going to be very difficult to bring down. There is no way this government can avoid mm. some level of intervention. We must tell ourselves the truth. What would that intervention look like? Are we talking about subsidy again? Um, or what exactly? Who are we not subsidizing? <laughs> we are, instead of subsidizing the general public, just subsidizing the governors, the ministers, the DGs, the big men in power, we are still subsidizing some at mm. some point. Or so what kind of intervention? Uh, some kind of... A level of intervention that I can at least at least can bring this product down to at least between seven and not more than eight hundred. At nine fifty one thousand, the average Nigerian cannot afford to go to work. Even That's at seven hundred, even can't go at six hundred, it's, it's, it's impossible. So when you're not talking about one thousand two hundred naira, how how can we survive in this country? So we can't avoid that big elephant in the room. The government must provide some kind of intervention because you took away our subsidy and then put it in the hands of these governors. They are now getting yeah. three, four times the amount of allocations they are making. Mm. Travel around the country. What has changed? Nothing. It's not like they have built Dubai's and the Americas and UK's in their various mm. localities and cities. So there's this uh, subcommittee, technical subcommittee on Naira, uh, on Naira-based sales has been, you know, put in place to, to look at the uh, local refinery uh, factor. In, in the coming months, what exactly should this committee be looking at in terms of factoring that will determine the realistic price of fuel at the pumps? A, a variety of things. Mm -hmm. First of all, what is it costing Dankote refinery to produce this item? Because it can't, it can't sell at a loss. 
That's basic. Right. He's a businessman. He's in business to make money. Mm -hmm. So the first is to determine what is his bottom line. What is he producing at? Right. So once you have that figure, then you can go to the public and look at what is possible. If, uh, if, if, if you're talking about minimum wage being 70,000 70, Naira hmm. for minimum wage, is it possible for a, 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 a Nigerian at 70,000 Naira to transport himself back and forth to work in a month, put a roof over his head, hmm. food on the table, provide health care, pay his children's school it's fees? It's not possible. It's impossible. So how do we achieve affordability and availability? Can we achieve both? We can achieve both with how? appropriate government intervention. There must be some form of government intervention. We can't run away from it. We can speak all the big grammar we want. Mm. There must be some type of government intervention. Otherwise, we're asking for trouble. Even if we had multiple Dangote refineries. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Dr. Morris Ibe, oil and gas industry expert, thank you very much. Thank you, man.